It is so important to go to bed early because you want to be up at the crack of dawn. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. You have to be ready. You have to grab a cup of coffee and go out on deck because things are happening fast. They look pancakes. It's a flop, flop, flop. You just hear all these flopping sounds of mobile arrays that are jumping out of the ocean and landing on their belly. Some people say that it's the males that are showcasing for the females. Other people say that it's the females running away from the males. Whatever it is, it is quite a spectacle. These animals are moving too fast. They come out of the water for one or two seconds and they're gone again. So the failure rate is pretty high. Can you go closer to those one plants? But every once in a while, you catch one in the moment when a sea creature is actually taking flight. The important thing about showing mobula rays here in the Sea of Cortez is that we need to show abundance and there's no better species for us to do that with than these rays. We're working here with young marine biologist Frida Lara who actually reminds me a lot of a younger version of myself. She's very very passionate about wildlife and very knowledgeable. Mobulas are filter feeders, so they are very key in the ecosystem. We think they are here because it's the time of the year where they gather together for mating reasons. So we can see males and females that are adults and they form very large aggregations. I think Mexico can be an example for the region. We know that mobulas can be distributed in Galapagos. We have seen them also in the main coast of Costa Rica. So we think that if we give an example to other countries in the area, probably the coastal communities can see them as a potential for tourism and finding new alternatives for the economy. It's one thing to be on the surface to see them jumping out of the water like popcorn and then you take your mask and you just break that surface tension from being on the surface to looking below and where you just saw dozens jumping, you now see thousands underwater. We're in this, this massive school packed super tight together, cruising. Before you know it, you have a thousand mobula rays doing this vortex swimming behavior right below your belly. But the best part for me was after getting them used to me and free diving with them was to come back to the boat, put on my rebreather and just descend quietly down to 30 feet deep. The fact that we're not making any bubbles, which is a threat display, which orcas use to corral them and hunt them, we're just hopefully gonna be an ally and not a predator. We're just gonna go see if we can get a shot right now. I know what the image is and what they look like from above. I've never seen what it looks like to look up and have these beautiful forms dancing across the shimmering sunlight against the surface and just by the thousands swimming along. It's really one of the most beautiful, poetic things I've ever seen in my life. It is very hard to leave these aggregations of mobula rays because they'll remain here for another month and a half. But now, finally, we find out that we've been given permission. We can now go focus on the largest animal that has ever lived on our planet.